Hey there, I'm Benjamin from Love's Data, and today I'm going to show you how to install Google Analytics on WordPress. Now there are a few different ways to add Google Analytics to WordPress. You can add your Google Analytics tracking ID using a plugin. You can add the tracking code directly to your template, or you can use Google Tag Manager. There are pros and cons to each of these options. So I'm going to show you all three, and then you can choose the option that works for you. If you already know which option you'd like to use, then you can skip ahead using the links in the description below this video. Okay, let's get started. We're going to start by covering the quickest way to get up and running with Google Analytics on our WordPress site. This is where we add Google Analytics to WordPress using a plugin. I've already logged into my WordPress demo site, so I'm going to select Plugins and then Add New. Now I'm going to search for Google Analytics. We can see there are lots of different plugins to choose from. The most popular Google Analytics plugin is created by Monster Insights. The free version of this plugin provides some basic features, but you'll need to subscribe to use all of the features of this plugin. For example, if you want to enable e-commerce tracking, then you'll need to be using the paid version of the plugin. If you want to avoid paying for another subscription, then I recommend checking out Google's plugin for WordPress. It's called SiteKit by Google. It only provides basic features. For example, it will exclude us from our own reports if we're logged into WordPress. However, it doesn't include options for e-commerce tracking or any other advanced features. But if you want to get up and running with a free plugin, it's a good option. So let's install this plugin. And activate it. Now let's click Start Setup. First we need to verify that we own the website with Google Search Console. So let's click Sign In with Google. We need to choose our Google account. And authorize access. Then we can head to our dashboard in WordPress. Now we can select Google Analytics. We will need to select our Google account again. And authorize access, this time to Google Analytics. If you've previously installed Google Analytics on your website, then you can select your existing Google Analytics account property and view to use in WordPress. Apart from adding the Google Analytics tracking code to all of the pages of your site, it will also let you view important statistics from your Google Analytics reports inside WordPress. Or if you're just getting started with Google Analytics, you can select set up new account using the account dropdown. Since I already have a property that I'd like to use, I'm going to select the account Property and Reporting View. And then I'm going to click Configure. Since we've connected Google Analytics, this means the Google Analytics tracking code has been added to all of the pages on our WordPress site. And we will begin to see data collected into our reports. Let's select Settings. Then Analytics and let's click Edit. Here we can see the settings we can control for Google Analytics using the plugin. As I mentioned, it is basic. There are options that allow us to disable the tracking code, disable anonymized IP addresses, and choose if we're tracked into Google Analytics. So that's how we can use a plugin to add Google Analytics to WordPress. The advantage of this option is that it's quick and easy to get up and running. The disadvantage is that you'll probably need to use a paid plugin if you want more advanced features. And the other disadvantage of using a plugin is that depending on how they've been developed, they can add unnecessary code to your website. 
The next option is to add the Google Analytics tracking code directly to your WordPress template. This is a good option if you want to maintain control over the code that's added to your site. I'm going to start by selecting Plugins and Installed Plugins. And I'm going to deactivate the plugin we previously installed to add Google Analytics to WordPress. It's important to do this, otherwise we would be adding the tracking code to our website twice. Now to add Google Analytics to our WordPress template, we need to create a child theme. If we don't, then updates to the theme's files might remove our Google Analytics tracking code. So to do this, you'll need FTP access and be comfortable with basic coding. I'm going to head to my FTP client. I'm already in the themes folder for my WordPress site. And I'm going to create a new folder called 2020-child. Now I'm going to create a new file called style.css. Now I'm going to open the style sheet and add some basic details so that WordPress knows it's a child of the theme I'm using. To learn more about creating a child theme, check out the extra resources in the description below this video. Now I'm going to copy the header file. And I'm going to open the header file. This file is used to create the header section for all of our pages, so by adding the Google Analytics tracking code to this file, it will be installed on our site. OK, so now we need to get the Google Analytics tracking code. Let's head to Google Analytics. I'm already in the admin section of my existing Google Analytics account. However, if you're just getting started and don't have an account yet, you'll need to create one first. You can find a link to create your account in the description below this video. So feel free to pause here, create your account, and then come back when you're ready. Now I'm going to select Tracking Info, and then Tracking Code. I can now see my Google Analytics tracking code. So let's copy this. And now let's head back to my FTP client. Now we need to paste the tracking code inside the head tag. And let's save the file. Now let's head back to WordPress. Let's select Appearance and Themes. I can hover over my child theme and click Activate. That's it. Now my WordPress website is using the header file from my child theme. And since this includes the Google Analytics tracking code, it has been added to all of the pages of my site. Adding Google Analytics to your template is a great option if you don't want to use a plugin and you want full control over the code. Now we're going to cover how we can use Google Tag Manager on our WordPress site. This option provides the greatest flexibility but also requires additional steps. To start, we'll need our Google Analytics tracking ID. So let's head back to Google Analytics. I'm still on the tracking code section of Google Analytics, so I can simply copy my tracking ID from the top of the page. To find this, just select Admin and then Tracking Info after you've logged into Google Analytics. And if you don't have a Google Analytics account yet, then you can find a link to create your account in the description below this video. Now that I've copied my tracking ID, I need to head to Google Tag Manager. You can find Google Tag Manager by navigating to tagmanager.google.com or by using the link I've included in the description below this video. Since I haven't used Google Tag Manager for my demo WordPress site, I'm going to create a new account. However, if you've already created an account and container for your website, then you can use this instead of creating a new one. Now I'm going to name my account. Enter the URL for my website. Select Web and click Create. I'm now given the Google Tag Manager container code. Today I'm going to show you how to use a plugin to add this to your WordPress site. 
but you can also copy this code and then head back to the section of this video where we covered adding the tracking code to our WordPress theme. You can then paste this code into the head file instead of the Google Analytics tracking code. I'm going to close this. And now I'm going to create a new tag. I'm going to name the tag Google Analytics. And I'm going to select Tag Configuration. I'm going to select Google Analytics, Universal Analytics as the tag type. You will see options for Google Analytics app and web properties. If you're interested in learning more about this type of property, then check out the extra resources in the description below this video. I'm going to leave Page View as the track type. And I'm going to create a new Google Analytics settings variable. I'm going to name the variable Google Analytics. And I'm going to paste the tracking ID I copied from Google Analytics. Now I'm going to click Save. Next, I'm going to select Triggering. And I'm going to choose the default All Pages Trigger. This will mean that the Google Analytics tag is added to all of the pages that load Google Tag Manager. Now I can click Save. And I can publish my changes. OK, so now that we've added the Google Analytics tag to Google Tag Manager, we now need to add Google Tag Manager to WordPress. We need to copy our Google Tag Manager container ID. And now let's head to WordPress. Since I previously added Google Analytics to my child theme in WordPress, I'm going to start by activating the parent theme. This will remove the existing Google Analytics tracking code from my site. Now I'm going to select Plugins and Add New. Let's search for Google Tag Manager. We can see Google's plugin, however this only adds the Google Tag Manager container code and doesn't provide any advanced features. So I'm going to install the Google Tag Manager for WordPress plugin. And I'm going to activate it. Let's select Settings. Now we can paste our Google Tag Manager container ID. There are a range of options you can enable and disable in the plugin. This includes automatically tracking extra information about your blog posts and lots of other options. When you're happy, click Save and Google Tag Manager will be added to all of the pages of your WordPress site. That's it. So they're the different ways you can add Google Analytics to WordPress. Remember, if you're looking for the quickest way to get up and running, then I recommend using a plugin to add the Google Analytics tracking code to all of the pages of your website. This really is the easiest option. However, if you're looking for more control and you have other tags that you want to add to your website, then I suggest taking the extra time to set up Google Tag Manager. This will give you more control and help to future-proof your Google Analytics implementation. Which technique are you going to use to add Google Analytics to WordPress? I'd love to know. Let me know in the comments below. And if you found this video helpful, please subscribe, share it with your friends and hit the like button so I know to make more videos like this. See you next time.